This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. I'm good. There we go. There you go, that clarity. <laughs> I guess because the internet messing up so bad. Start by putting some Florida water on my hands so I touch on these at card. <laughs> Alright, let's get it rocking. As you know. I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing you a five card spread via the card that you chose. I got them down here. I see that you did choose your seventh house, so you must ask that card a question. You can't skip it, okay? Okay. All right. Got that going on. Uh, what else I want to say? Spirit gave me some message just now, but it left my head when I was doing my talking. It'll come back. Woo! I am not tired, that's just spirit. Alrighty, yes, yes, yes. Spirit is trying to come through, but I can't get none of the messages. That's crazy. Every everything they want to say is like stopping in the center of my forehead, right here. So that means you have a block going on. You have a mental block going on. Cause I gotta break through your block because I hear the information, but it's not coming out so I can hear the words and see the visions. But we're gonna fix that. I can't be blocked, stopped. None of that. All right, so I'm taking a little. Oh yeah, I know what I want to say now. Uh, you did say you wanted this to be recorded. You marked that it to be recorded. The camera is on. Is that all right? Yes. All right. Now I'm taking a little shuffling your cards. I want you to say your first name or whatever you like to be called, so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? All right, so let me ask you a question, sister. Uh, and this could pertain to you, or this can be pertain to anybody around you. So think clear. Is there any female around you that's dealing with something with her uh, her uh, body odor, vagina area? It could be, yes. Okay, spirit showed me this. Uh, this is due to an infection. And if I'm not mistaken, what they're trying to tell me, this is due to an infection of somebody of a sexual nature, not sexual transmitted disease infection. Well, I know it could come from that, but let's say somebody didn't take care of that person properly. They just it went too hard or just didn't give a fuck or went from ass to cooch. They just disrespect. They say it in the fact of disrespect of it. Okay, well, I know that's not me, but I, I think I know who that is. All right, because it's around, but that so basically that person needs to go get a checkup, get an antibiotic, get a cream. Oh, okay. Because they showed. I'm allowed to tell that. So they showed me the peach. They showed me a peach, and they showed me the peach cut in half with the peach pit. But they also uh -huh. showed me like somebody hitting the peach with a switch. That's abuse. And then they saying they showed me a foul smelling plant. So. That mean there's somebody take. I mean, this is how the vision came, and it had to come several times. So yeah, so whoever this is, make sure that person go down there and get that checkup, or tell that person that if the shit too big for, it, don't try to take it, or if the motherfucker going from ass to front without wiping that shit off or throwing some water on it, please, he, this person need to respect her. Okay. Bottom line. All right, that's all. That's that's the main thing Spirit wanted me to say. I got it out. That's cool. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna lay this. So we're gonna start with your first card, which is in your fourth house. Second card, fifth house. Sixth house. Seventh house. And ninth house. Let's get this party started. All right. We're gonna start with your first card, which is in your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by Cancer and is governed by the Moon. Your fourth house represent your actual house and home where you live. It also represent three people you allow to stay in your home via friends and family. In this house right here, you have the five of water in the upside down position. Now, spirits say this struggle point that you've been struggling with the people that you will live in your house, the argument, the struggle point is gone. I don't know what happened. This shit disappeared instantly. Spirit is saying one day it was a bitching move and then the next month everything's cool. 
Now, I'm asking Spirit, is it going to stay like this before you ask? Because I want your question to be so informed. Uh, Spirit okay. is saying there shouldn't be another resurgence of anything coming up, fucking with you, messing with you in no form or fashion. This is a real 180 degree change. Uh, do you know what they're talking about? No, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. So the we, only thing, oh, I'm not sure. So let me look in the card. So Spirit, what she says, she's not sure about this emotional distraught she had about this person or the energy this person had about you. Either way, y'all wasn't liking each other. This person wasn't liking you. Three people you would allow stay in your home or somebody in your home. If you're married, you know, your husband will go through some shit. You know what? The only thing I can think of is my niece. That's the only person I can think of is her. Yeah. And this is the same one that gives the coochie beat the shit down? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, she's in a humble state, mama. She's in a very humble state right now. So, no arguing, no bitching, no fighting. I don't know what's going on with her. She's in a very humble can, state. Can I throw something out there? Yeah. Okay, her, her friend, her one of her best friends, she actually had two best friends that got killed. And her last best friend just got killed, got shot in the head and got burnt. And I wonder, is that playing a, a part on it? Let me see. Spirit, is this playing a part? Has she calmed herself down and been humble? Is this coming coming this shit now? Spirit said, follow your heart. There you go. Spirit said, look in the mirror and choose peace. Spirit said, find the blessing in your current situation. Yeah, she's using you as a safe haven, a refuge. Yeah, she know what the deal is. She don't want to okay. go out there. Now, now, Spirit also telling me something else about this girl. This is not her reading. Spirit, um, Spirit, this is not the niece reading, but she wants you to know this. Uh, when the last time this girl that took a goddamn trip to Miami? With me? That was about two or three years ago. Who did she meet down there randomly in Miami? Because this is why all the people are getting hurt. Nobody. She was with us the whole time. That I can think of. The only time I know she was out when she took a float. So she was right right next to you when you were sleeping in the bed. She was right next to you when she was taking a shower. She was right next to you when you and your people were doing whatever y'all were doing. She was right there. We was all like in the same room. She simply been with my cousin though. And she, we what I'm trying to say, stuff. she didn't go out by herself for no time. I don't care if it was like, not just to go on the balcony and take a smoke. Listen to what Spirit's saying. This is due her everybody around her are in trouble due to when she went to Miami. She met somebody, talked to somebody, or got involved with somebody from South Florida. Well, maybe that one with you, or maybe she conversated on the phone with somebody from South Florida. Oh, I've been there before. Okay. These are why these people are getting hurt. Tell her to stay away from anybody with Miami in their name, anybody with a Miami tattoo, anybody that referenced Miami, please. If you got an old boyfriend coming up from Miami, I can't see you. Okay. But yeah, this is why she's in that humble state because she's afraid they did something bad all together and she's afraid. Okay. Could it be in Miami? Could it be Dallas or Texas? I'm saying tropical. I don't know if Dallas is tropical like that or Texas. Well, Texas okay. is pretty fucking hot. I'm, I'm not saying heat wave. I'm saying tropical plants. Okay. Don't make no excuse for it now. I'm not. I'm not. All I'm right. Not. Now, this is back on your reading. We're going over here okay. to your second card, which is in your fifth house. Your fifth house is ruled by Leo and is governed by the sun. Your fifth house represents your sex life, entertainment, and luck. It also represents your strength and your courage. Uh, in this house right here, you have the five of air. That's the second five in my deck. Uh, you have the five of air in the upright position. Now, spirit is saying you're being manipulated in a sexual activity way. You're being manipulated in the carnal sense. You're being forced or made to believe like if you go somewhere, do something entertainment wise, it's going to turn out for your better, greater good. Spirit is warning you. So whoever you're dealing with, I need you to take very set precautions. Do you know what they're talking about? Um, right now I do not because uh, I mean I'm I'm saying I've been doing online dating but I have not met anybody and really everybody that's on I really don't want to meet. Hmm. So let me help you out because everybody <laughs> think this fifth house represents the physical. It says sex life, 
entertainment that's online dating and love mm -hmm. entertainment is that 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 internet entertainment is the TV entertainment okay. is going on dates spirit is saying and the 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 air represents communication this is what you do with that internet you communicate type it online dating spirit is saying uh -huh. you're being manipulated I didn't know you was online dating plenty of fish and all that other shit uh -huh. you're being manipulated and you're in danger Scrutinize every damn thing. Oh, I don't even like it. <laughs> well, get your ass off of it and go to the mall and meet random regular people. You're right. I, I'm definitely finna get off of because I do not like it. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, yes. As for meeting people, where do I go? I don't know even where to go to meet. To like, I heard you say the store or, you know, somewhere, but where would, where would be a good place for me to meet somebody? Spirit, what's a good place for her to meet someone? For entertainment, spiritual laws of attraction, stay focused. Spiritual laws of attraction, stay focused and trust. So, uh, when is your next spiritual retreat, uh, church meeting, uh, bembe, uh, funeral? Oh, funeral. Oh boy. You you could end up meeting somebody at a funeral or a church event. But it's a, it has to have. I don't, I don't do church. I'm getting tired of your butt. You don't do nothing, spirit. Say, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. It ain't me. I can't believe it. I don't know it. You better stop. You ask these questions. Spirit is giving. I'm not giving you where you can. Spirit is telling you this. So, okay. when you're doing this reading, that's you saying. Okay, if I haven't been to church in a while and all of my niece's people are dying, uh, going to the funeral probably, maybe niece going to get hurt and you're going to have to go to a funeral and meet somebody. You see, I don't want you to be blindsided and Spirit is telling you how to do this. So Spirit is saying, listen to me again, spiritual laws of attraction. That's the spirit word, a religion. Stay focused. This is you. Having to deal with it. Focus on this energy. Then they said trust. This says to me in the vision. A bembe. A spiritual celebration. A home going or a church service. You don't go to church. You ain't part of no EFAR group. Spiritual celebration bembe. And then there's a lot of funerals and death going on around your ass. And your niece is involved in some shit. Who knows? So now the question you should ask. Is my niece going to pass away? Is something going to happen to her? This is the question. You're, you're going to meet somebody at this bitch that you're going to really like. That's the bottom line. But there's an undertone to it. Is my niece going to pass away? Spirit, is her niece okay? This ain't what she's going to meet. She ain't going to meet this man due to her niece, is it? Spirit said, reflection twin flame. Oh, boy. Take charge of the situation. Energy healing. Stop, spirit. Don't play with her. Don't play with this woman. Spirit saying she being vague. I'm finna be vague. I don't. I know she gonna meet. You said that she's gonna meet this person at this spiritual celebration. Will her niece pass? Will her niece pass? Spirit said family. There we go. Will her niece pass? Spirit said purification. Fresh start, Mama. This is a strong chance your niece is either gonna take do a suicide or get in some real trouble where this service is gonna be heard. Okay. So if you can't tell her ass nothing, you better tell her something. So who is Carter? Damn it, Spirit is not her niece reading. Who is Carter? I don't know who Carter is. Okay, Carter is a name. Make sure your niece Carter, Carver, Cartel, Carlton, anything dealing with C-A-R or Char Charleston, anything of that, you write this down, mama. Okay. Carlton, Carter, Charleston, Charlie, anything dealing with C A R C H A R, any names dealing on that, uh, a variant close in whatever language or alphabet, tell your niece to be mindful. Because your life, you're going to meet your mate at her home going service. So I'm sorry, but let's try to change that up to a church event. So let's not have you go to no damn funeral. We're going to go over to your 7th house. Your 7th house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your 7th house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony. In this house right here, you have the outcast in the upright position. Now, the outcast is somewhat of a, uh, I don't want to say a fool, but it's like a foolish card. But the outcast is like a clueless, 
clueless person in love. So Spirit is saying when it comes to relationship, you're clueless. And I'm going to say exactly how they say when it comes to relationship, you're acting like a young 21-year-old. Clueless. Like, I just want attention. I just want some somebody to acknowledge me. I just want some, some. Spirit is saying you can't do this at your age. How old are you? What am I at your age? You ain't no old lady. 43. Oh, shit. You, you up there with me. Mama, you can't look at it like this. Spirit is saying when it comes to relationship, you can't be so carefree. I know the internet, you don't like it. I know you want your man right quick and you're just trying to get companionship. Spirit is saying this is not the way to do it because when it comes to your relationship, you are not focused on the bread and butter of the relationship. You're focused on the, the, the pudding, the chocolate pudding, the, the mundane, the sugary sweets. Mm -hmm. They saying at this point in the game, you're supposed to be looking for something stable. Settle down material, not dating, not hanging out. This is settle down time for you. But that's what I'm looking for. That's what you're looking for, but you're acting as if everything is disposable. I'll date him to see if I like him. You're not really putting no real substance in behind. Like, let me challenge him. Let me see what he got, what he brings to the table. Let me fix myself to see what I can bring to the table. They saying you need more substance when it comes to your dating. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, yes. Um, could I... It was this person that I was talking to. Is it okay if I ask that card a Oh, yeah. Though? This is your relationship oh. house. Go for it. Okay. So, it was this person that I was talking to, and you told me to get him an ultimatum. And I gave him the ultimatum. Mm-hmm. And I want to know... You said it could be a good outcome to it. Mm -hmm. I want to know what is the outcome what is his thought process on what's going on with me and him now Spirit what is this guy outcome thought process on what's going on what is he thinking help her out Spirit said detach from drama Spirit said open your heart to love Spirit said priority now you can sit up there and start liking this man for real the outcome his thought process is is the simple fact like he know you'll leave him. He know he'll go somewhere. You'll go somewhere. He know you can do it. Spirit said, detach from drama. That's his thought process. Open your heart to love. That's his thought process. Priority, meaning that, yeah, he's starting to value you a hell of a lot more. Keep the ultimatum going. Don't settle. Don't accept no bullshit. If you told him, hey, it's either marriage or nothing, stick to that gun. Okay. Because he the one that I do want. He, and it's like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just they doing the dating website to kind of like occupy my time, and I'm trying not to do that also because I didn't want to just hold on to him either if he didn't want to be there. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I go by your reading. And you tell me, you, like what you have told me so far, you know, most of it is true. Cause when you told me that his wife was sick, what is he will, yeah, too sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm listening to you. It is I don't know. Um, you know how you just don't be for sure. But I'm listening, and I'm I'm trying to see the outcome of it. See what it is. It's not that you're trying to see the outcome. It's the simple fact that you want the outcome to happen soon. Once you get yeah. somebody an ultimatum, you got to get them time to process. That can be one month, one year, all that stuff. But the, but the message is still the same. You stick to your gun, he's going to come around and be with you. This man is leaving a sick wife. She's going to pass soon, probably. You know what I'm saying? So he's going to have that time where he's going to wild out a little bit, be angry at the world. I don't own no shit. I ain't got to take this shit. You know, he's going to go through that. All these phases he's going to have to go to. And then it comes back to the fact, well, you ain't, I'm not going to be one of these motherfuckers you're going through this phase with. Do your shit. Well, I love you. And when you're ready to get right, come holler. But until uh -huh. then, I'm going to do me. He'll realize that shit. Let me tell you, that shit get boring at the time. Okay. Spirit. So, uh -huh, okay. Go ahead. So who is this person? Can I ask, can I ask another question? Uh-huh. Okay. Who is this person that I'm, I'm supposed to meet at, at a church function? Okay. I right, spirit say don't answer that. Uh, I'm putting the car. So, uh, his is his wife still living and she's sick. Um, but what he told me is she's sick with something dealing with her liver. So how bad off she is? He ain't tell you the details. So no, he's not. But I don't think she's bad. Hmm. So the way he talks about it, hmm. it's like he said she just can't drink. 
Okay, the uh, labor problem is a tricky landmine. So even if you, even if they say you gotta meet somebody at a funeral, now you got a niece. I'm gonna help you. You got a niece that's in a living a rough lifestyle, doing some crazy shit. You got this boot thing who has a wife that's ter ill. So one, somebody is finna pass, right? And let's say he ain't the one that you gonna have to comfort and console at the funeral. I mean, that's that's what these readings do. They they I give you the landmarks for you to look at the bigger picture. So you gotta you gotta think before like more than just five seconds. You gotta take this thing all around because this is your all around reading. So in your reading, right. uh huh. Because when you did my other reading, I had to sit and think of what you were saying when you were telling me I was being selfish. I should be less selfish to someone in the household, and then you were saying that. You can't do for this other person. When I started thinking about it, I knew exactly what you was talking about after the read. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, it comes I, I, to you. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So now, this now I'll give you a, a chance to ask a, ask a second question. Because where are you going to meet this person at? Some kind of religious function, some kind of service, spiritual service. Funerals is le looking like uh, two times on the table here. And if his wife passed, I'm pretty sure you're going to go to the funeral. The mistress or not, you're going to sit your ass in the back. He's going to call you after the funeral, want to talk to you for comfort, that type of shit. Or he's free, so he's going to come over there and get some of that scoop from that free bird energy. Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. You ready for me to go to the second card or you got a question for yeah. go? All right, now we're going to go over to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind. What is you think about, desire, want, fear? In this house right here, you have the nine of air in the upright position. All the air cards, Jesus Christ. Nine of air, upright position. Spirits say the biggest thing your problem is, is you, you, you're upset that people are judging you. You're literally upset that people are going to judge you. Why do you think they're going to judge you? Sometimes I judge others, so I feel like if I'm doing it, other people doing it. So, so basically, you just have this irrational, irrational way of thinking to yourself, sabotaging yourself. Sometimes, yes, I can see that, yes, because it is self sabotaging, you know. Yes, this is in your eighth house of made up situation, what it is you fear. Think about your subconscious mind. It ain't even real. Your ninth house is real. This is subconscious mind. And spirits say, you think everybody aiming at you, shooting at you, judging you. How long you been dealing with this man? Uh, probably all my life. So you been dealing with this man all your life, and he done got oh, married. Oh, you said that the man? Yeah. No, um, since 20, like, since 20, I been known him since 20. So since like 2020, 2020, since 2020, he been married that long. You still dealt with him, and not everybody in your business, because you done told or don't put them in your business or whatever. Or they don't see. Now you thinking, okay, they gonna judge you. This man wife's sick. He come over here whenever. I love him, so I'm gonna give him an ultimatum, or I'm gonna argue and fuss and fight. However, however, you saying people saying you're a home record, you're stupid, you're crazy, you're wrong, and all this shit right here, and you you letting people judge you on this shit. I don't, but actually, I'm going to be honest with you, I never felt like I was a home record because the way he presented it to me. Mm -hmm. The way he presented it to me was he was separated. I'm thinking he's in a totally different household. I just found out the same day I found out that she was sick. It's the same day I found out that they were actually still living together. I think I, if, I, if I remember that reading, I told you. I told you that during that reading. You ask yeah. that question. But, you know, it's like I needed that confirmation. And when I get it, then it's like, oh, okay. I gave him, like, I kind of gave him an ultimatum, but I didn't give him an ultimatum. Like, I didn't work on that ultimatum. And then this last, when, after all this happened, I gave him that ultimatum. And, like, I don't even contact him. He contacts me, but I don't contact him. So let me help you. Even if when he contact you, do you accept them to come see you, or do you just talk on the phone and hang up real quick? We we text and it is quick. Like he 
still send a text. Like, he, he sent me a text about my cousin. I like, uh, look at my cousin. And then I said, thank you. I appreciate it. I left it at that. Yeah. You got this judgmental thing going. Stop judging yourself, please. It is what it is. Y'all been doing this this long. Spirit say he right for you. He's in a situation. You're allowing him. You're trying to ice your wounds down by going on these dating sites and talking to people. Spirit say cut the crap. Stop worrying about if somebody going to judge you. Let alone if he going to judge you for going out there doing what you're doing. This man is still betrothed and married to somebody. So he really ain't got no say so what you do. So stop it and live. Would you like to ask this guard a question? How do I find myself? Like, how do I find out what I really like? Hello, that's the million dollar question. I've been doing talks on this. How do you find out what you really like when you're a single person? Just getting over the divorce, just getting over the relationship, and you're out there, you got to go and get back in the dating world. You got to figure out who you is. And I say dating world, not dating in a relationship energy. You got to go on random dates. You got to go on random things. You got to take random tours in here. You got to go see what you like. Eat a different pizza. Try a different pizza. Try a different restaurant menu. Try a different driving different car. This is how you discover yourself by trying new stuff, doing new things that you wouldn't do. So then when you come back and you ready for your person, hey, I, I discovered I like capers on the side of my salmon. I'm going to have to need them capers. Okay. You got me? Yeah. But spirit, that's my take. Spirit, how does she find herself subconsciously? Educate and teach. I told her, get to know herself. Balance career and home like what I told you. Lead a house, go places, do stuff. Communicate, talk to other people. Talk to people you like. Go seek a counselor. That type of energy. Okay. All right. Let's go over to your ninth house. This is a good card. Your ninth house is ruled by your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Oh, I'm not tired of this spirit. Your ninth house represents your uh, future, your reality, what will be, what's coming to you. In this house right here, you have the two of air in the upright position. Spirit said you are going to reconnect conversation-wise with this person and it's going to be all about love, union, coming together. There in the future, you will fall in love again and you will fall in love. Now, I don't know who they saying you fall in love with, but I can honestly say it's going to be in a, in a, it's going to be in a wooded area, swampy, grass, uh, if not swampy, it's going to be like trees, forests. It's going to be like a nature preserve. Uh, do where you live have a nature preserve or a nature walk? No. Mm -mm. Okay. If you go on a trip, go to a place where it's tropical and you can have a nature walk. This is where you're going to fall in love at because you're going to have this conversation with this person there. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, yes, could this place be New Orleans? Yeah, that's the tropical and swampiest motherfucking place. Let me see, Spirit. Is this New Orleans? Spirit said, Floor of Prosperity. Tell us, Spirit. Freedom. Oh, tell us, Spirit. Floor of Prosperity, Freedom, and Release Tension. Yes. Who lives in New Orleans? No, I don't live in New Orleans, but I love New Orleans. Ah, oh, you're going to fight me. Well, get your butt down to New Orleans and fall in love. You probably won't need Biscuit over here. Let Biscuit deal with his wife. Maybe you're going to go to a religious event in New Orleans. There's a lot of hoodoo, voodoo, and everything else down there. You probably meet somebody in the spiritual world. I just left New Orleans, and I, 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 I was just telling uh, my sister, I said, if whoever my husband is, he'd be like, let's move to New Orleans, I'm going. I just stared at the camera like, didn't Spirit just say that to the... I'm going to fight you. How, how you like your reading? God. I, I liked it. I loved it. Did it give you enough insight to protect that niece of yours on a health level and and to have a watch out for somebody too? Yes. But we, like you said, we always try to talk to her. And I, it seems like she has this, it's not going to happen to me attitude. Cause she wouldn't leave the house, and we don't even know where she she's at. Like she she won't tell us. And when her friend just something just happened to her friend, and it's it's actually something that's going on around here in Memphis. Six people that got killed, that they got shot in the head and got burnt, and it's in our neighborhood. 
and this not happen to her friend. So it's like, it's this even more reason why you have to tell us who you with, where you going? Mm. Because of this incident that just happened. So do y'all think y'all got a serial killer? Yes. And did, did I tell you he's from Miami, correct? You told yes, you said that. And I told you his name start with a Carlton Carter, something like that, right? Yes. Tell her to be very mindful of men with that Karcha sign. Even if it's his alias, this is what he's using. If he's burning down women and he's from Miami and she he probably seen her in Miami, followed her up there and start looking for her and getting close to her friends or however, however, you know, in the dope game, whatever. She is very much a, a, a part of this role here. People just don't die around people randomly. The probability is amazing. So this is him trying to get to her. Okay. Can, can I... Can Let I, me ask you something. Is she prostituting? Like, is she selling it or got bold? No, no she, she's not like that. No. No. So ain't no way he can pick her up on the street. That type no. of energy. Mm -mm. She just go out with her friends a lot. She goes out at in parties. But she, I don't think she do anything like that. So, so this could be a trafficking issue. Could be a potential trafficking, kidnapping issue. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, just tell her to be careful. What's What's the okay. question you want to ask before we get oh, off this phone, Mama? Uh, the question was, were, were any of us, as for her family, is going to get hurt or involved in the situation that she's in? Spirit, is this an isolated situation with her, or do the family need to watch out? Spirit said, see the other person's point of view. Spirit said, health and healing. Spirit said, meditation and prayer. Uh, this is your this is your niece. She's sick. It has nothing to do with you guys. It's a sickness. It's a it's a disorder, mental disorder, and it's only affecting her. See the other person's point of view. Health and healing, and and they said meditate, but it's a mind thing. She has a mental illness. She's either very depressed, suicidal. Oh, spirit say y'all. He already told her she's suicidal, or like a carefree attitude. Yep, she's yep, yep, she's yep. mentally ill, sister. Put her ass in a center. You try to get her help. Try to get her counseling, please. But you okay. guys not in danger. She is. Okay. Oh, oh, Nancy. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I have two nieces, and they both are sisters. And one do seem like she's a little mentally ill. Oh, could you be talking about another niece that's not staying with me? See, and now. Oh, okay. That's why y'all can't hold back in these readings. That's why y'all got to come open. Because if y'all told you the people one in the three... One with me. One three people, with me, yes. The other one don't. But I said that will allow you to stay... That will, you would allow to stay in the household. So I'm going to no. ask, is it this okay. niece? So call her by name. When I say call her by name or call her by alphabet. But call each one. Ask Spirit the question of each one by alphabet. Starting with one in your house or whatever... However you go, don't tell me which one. Is this one here in danger? S, is this one here in danger? T, whatever you want to call them. Is this one in danger? Uh, that's her initial? Uh, both of the initials are A. Okay, then give me something else. A, uh, you call her something else that you will know who they talking about. Michelle. Spirit, is Michelle the one in danger? I spirit, that's that's too vague. What are you telling her to back up from Michelle for? They saying you need to back up from Michelle. Ask about the other one. Okay, Ashley. Is Ashley in danger? Spirit said father, husband, brother, son, male, children. Oh. Male, children, power of joy. This is the one that she's in danger with the father. So the father is trying to hurt the the the, the boyfriend, the father of the baby. Getting her pregnant, trying to get her pregnant in his gun. Oh, only if she leaves the man. If Ashley leaves this guy that she's dealing with or take his baby, yeah, he gonna hurt her. But they she, she can't have babies. Okay, so she better not play with this man and tell him she pregnant. If she get with somebody, do you hear what they saying? Yes. She better not, oh I'm pregnant, I need an abortion or bitch I ain't got no babies. You gonna have this baby and find out she can't get pregnant, her head crushed open. Spirit, you got a really rough family down there now. You got a really rough family. But they saying, back to Michelle, they saying work your magic, clear and shield your energy, and listen. I, Michelle is the one you're supposed to protect. 
Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Okay. But both of them got potential to be hurt. But mm -hmm. Michelle is the main one you need to focus on. Get her shit together. But this one right here, tell her don't play with no man when it comes to babies. If she can't have no baby, don't tell no man she pregnant. And if she get pregnant, she better make sure she stick with that man. Drop that club shit or whatever the fuck she got going on. Because this dude is not playing about his baby. Okay. Oh, this is so crazy. And then I had a crazy dream about her. This is crazy. Okay. I'm the real deal, mom. I'm a real psychic. Okay. I think I'm going to have to. Nah. I'm, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're a little bit over time. And I'm just glad I you got all the answers that you needed. I did, uh, thank you. No problem. And you know what I like to say? If you need to reach me, you know how. Yes. All right, Mama, you be good. And God bless this whole family. I'm going to say a prayer. Matter of fact, I'm just going to burn a candle so everybody can be safe and that everybody can oh. see the wrong they're doing. How about that? I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to get it now as soon as we hang up. Okay. All right, Mama, be good. All right. Everybody, I'm finna do something I typically don't do. I'm, I'm about to go over here and put on my altar, on my altar for random people, like just a just a healing altar, I call it. I just put anybody up there whose spirit tell me to. I got some of you guys up there that I've talked to you guys don't even know. Just, it's in my heart. But I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna burn a candle for, for her and her family and tell them they can see the light so they won't get, go through all this pain and suffering and shit that this family doing. Cause there's a lot of games being played in this family by these females and it's not a good thing so everybody let's pray for our sister because she don't deserve this pain that she I, ain't, I can't say she don't deserve it but I don't think she can handle it what she gonna go through so let's pray her strength everybody and let's pray these negative energies off of them positive comments below alright everybody I'm the Baron telling you guys I trust you in the universe because at the end of the day that's all you got please like share and subscribe thank you all so try Okay, I'm ready. You have me waiting since November, so I'm <laughs> like, this is going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, good. All right. Well, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in ring zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. I see that you chose your seventh house, which is relationship. You must ask that card a question. You cannot skip it, okay? Ah, the more energy you bring, the better. And it seems like okay. you chock full of energy, so you got this. <laughs> you got this. She said, you had me waiting, man. What the hell, bruh? I'm definitely ready. <laughs> All right, so we finna jump in this thing. I'm taking a liver and shuffling your car. So your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. Oh, let me turn the sound down. I'm uploading the video. You'll hear that ding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to start with your first card, which is in your second house. Your second card is going to be in your fourth house. Uh, future economics third card in your sixth house seventh house and future all right we're going to start with your first card which is in your second house your second house is ruled by taurus and is governed by venus your second house represent your current economic Ooh, i promise i'm not tired of the spirit your second house represent your current economics current money prosperity and wealth in this house right here, you have the Ace of Earth in the upright position. Now, Spirit is really giving you a high karate, high congratulation, because they say you have done less spending, you be become more money conscious, or lo loaning money. It's saying you're, you're standing your ground when it comes to, to how you handle the money in your pocket. Less spending, less Amazon purchase, less letting the bitch trick you out your money. You have really done the work. Spirit wants to say that there is a rainy day coming. There is a rainy day coming uh, and, it, and it, you won't see it coming. It's like doing this is pretty good. You won't see it coming and I think it's going to be coming in 
round by Capricorn season. I think this is Capricorn season. Yeah. Uh, so you should you should you you may receive some information uh, that's gonna cause you to be like grateful you started saving and doing the work. Capricorn season. But uh, I, if you haven't gotten it yet, you're going to get it soon. But it's just a rainy day with spirits so that you're well equipped for it. So don't worry about it. Pay the bill, pay the fine, pay the money, and move on. That's the only thing you're going to, that's the only hardship you're going to experience this year. Would you like to ask this card a question? Oh, my God. Yeah. You okay? You understand? Yeah. That's a pretty good card. <laughs> That's so accurate. <laughs> oh, oh, so it, so it already happened. Yeah, because I really have to cut back on my spending, and I started, you know, the beginning of this year. Like, I started saving and doing the work and saving for the month of December. I bought one pair of books in January, and then I said, no more, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> so it's accurate. All right. Well, keep in mind, moving forward, you will not face another hardship. This is all they wanted. Yeah, so if you have to pay a fine ticket, a light bill, whatever, this is all you're going to have to pay. After this, it's smooth sailing, all right? Okay. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your second card, which is in your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and it's governed by the moon. House and home. <sighs> oh, God, it's not tight. It represents your house and home, where you live, uh, that type of energy. Uh, three people you would allow to stay in your home. In this house, you have Iku. Now, Iku is in the reverse, so Iku is saying that she don't have to come and do anything here. She can just chill, relax, and be free because there's nobody leaving your life. There's nobody departing your home. She doesn't have to cut nobody off. She just like she's just resting in case somebody get out of hand. Then she'll act. But she says everything is copacetic, steady, go, steady as it goes. It's just a fly situation right now. Oh, wow. That's good to know. Uh, let me ask the question. Uh, who has uh, bad knees? She's talking about somebody's knees. Oh, my God. It's geriatrics in my house. It could be any one of them. <laughs> okay. It's, so, it's old people, skeletors. Yes. She, she's mentioning the knees, the joint, the knee joints uh, down to the lower foot. So knee joints, somebody can't walk too good. Uh, the geriatric, they go on the walkers or crutches or canes or something. But she is saying the person there with the bad knees or they're going to start experiencing extremely rough uh, mobility problems, knee pain, probably in a wheelchair soon. She says uh, there's no need to worry about that because that person is not going to pass away. Or well, that person is not going to go in a home. It's like everybody's going to be there, but that knee problem, that person with the knee problem is going to shake you up and scare you. Oh, wow. That's scary. Yeah, it ain't nothing bad. It's just to shake you up. Would you like to ask that card a question? Oh, shoot. No, because if the knee pain is the only thing I have to worry about, but it's not near death, then I'm okay. All right. Now, oh, and it's a male. Oh, shoot, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's a male. Because uh, she, she showed me his hair, and she said he's balding or something like that. That's what she pointed oh, out. Oh, my God, it's him. <laughs> yeah, okay, she said that. Make sure she know that it's the male, and he's losing his hair at the top. He's balding. But he ain't going nowhere, so don't get Even if he starts talking that crazy, oh, just let me go. Yeah, it, that, oh. don't, don't worry about it. You okay? Okay. Oh, God. All right. Damn, this is really good news. Except for your relationship, but we're, we're going to get there. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're going to go over here to your third car. Your third car is in your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economics, future money, prosperity, and wealth. In this house right here, you have the eight of air in the upside down position in the reverse. Uh, Spirit is saying, when it comes to your future money, uh, there's nothing holding you back from making that phone call saying, hey, give me the job. Or there's nothing holding you back by accepting an offer. Like, 
you have all green light go whatever was stressing you whatever was worrying you spirit say there's nothing there anymore so where is the offer coming from where is the financial offer coming from I don't know but where they come from I'm gonna say yes <laughs> I'm gonna say yes if she says it's good uh, but I don't know Maybe it's me that's holding me back? Uh -uh. No, you out of this cage. The bird in the cage, you're out of it. You're not holding yourself uh -huh. back. Nothing's holding you back. She said, but this is a verbal card. So that means like you have to ask. You have to ask universe. You have to ask spirit. You have to ask the landlord. You have to ask the publishing company. You have to ask something. She say that nothing like you wouldn't ask because, okay, let's say you had to take care of your family. You wouldn't ask because you were stuck in a relationship. You wouldn't ask because you was like, oh, I got to stay close to home, worry. She said, there's nothing for you to worry about. You know, you wow. have to speak up and ask for the future finances. Let's say you're going to meet a wow. nice mate and you, hey, yeah, let's buy that apartment. Let's start that business. It's, this is on you, riding on your shoulders. Would you like to ask this car a question about your future money? No, because I think I understand it, right? Because, okay, so you tell me, like, I want to write a book, right? But I keep stopping myself, but I, something keeps telling me to go ahead and write the book because I'll be successful. Right. Now, but this, I, but, okay. it, this has something to do with Hispanic people or a Spanish character or something about a boat in Spanish people. Is that ringing a bell? But my the book would be about different like different women. So the woman can be of any background. So you're gonna get success uh, in your book you're writing. Make the book about a boat and a woman on a boat. I don't know what's the symbology of the woman on the water or the boat in the woman. Uh, probably uh, uh, the feministic movement has no roots or women today have no roots and the boat represents floating and so I'm just giving you the take because I want you to get it but this is all in your conversation piece and eight is your subconscious mind so you have to tell yourself what that you have to will yourself to write this or to get this financial blessing that's coming your way but they just say a Hispanic female in a boat I don't know how you're gonna tie those into your story maybe she find a treasure on an island get stranded on the boat and find a lost treasure I don't know or maybe it's liberation. Liberation. There we go. But uh, ah. the the Hispanic the Hispanic woman has to be the character or one of the main characters and a boat. Whatever you come up with, that's on you. Got it. Thank you. Uh, again, would you like to ask this card a question? No. Nope. All right. Spirit said it's gonna be the easiest damn reading. I did. <laughs> <I'm, laughs> no, nope, I get it. All right, let's go over here to this, the most difficult part of this reading. Let's go over here to your relationship. We're going over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony. In this area right here, you have the Babalu, the Babalu Arisha in the upside down. So this is the magician. Ooh. This is the magician upside down. Uh, spirit is saying... Uh, you're you're not attempting to mend broken ties with anybody on any relationship front. It's like you're saying, ah, so what? Like steady as it go. You're not putting in the work. If this person don't call you, you won't call them. If you see a nice guy chick that you digging, you won't say nothing to him because you're like, I don't got time, or I don't really want to put in the work, or I'm focusing on myself. I got too much to do. You got these excuses when it comes to your relationship. Now, Spirit is saying this is not a bad thing when it comes to your relationship, but don't forget, you still got all your tools on the table. You still got your shape. You still got your beauty. You still got your brain. You still got your car. You still got everything. So don't think that you cannot work this when it's time for you to work it. But Spirit say you just don't want to work it when it comes to your relationship. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yeah, because it sounds like the Spirit knows me all too well. Is it possible that I don't want to work it because... It's been more than a decade with the same person. Ooh. And I'm just tired. Oh, there we go. Spirit, is it that she's been in this thing too long and she's just numb? 
Jesus Christ. <sighs> a spirit says, yes, mother, wife, sister, daughter. You've been a wife energy too long. Spirit, what else? Is anything she can do to trust? Detach from drama. Spirit say, just let it go on by itself. It'll work its way out no matter what. Don't you stress. You do you. Don't stress over this. You're good. I'm good. You are. Because I know what I bring to the table, so I'm good. Yeah, this is not stressing you at all, and don't let it stress you. Ten years, a decade, I think a decade is ten. Uh, I hope it ain't a hundred. I hope you ain't a hundred and something. <laughs> no, I'll be 40 this year. Like, I'm going into a, a, a whole new journey. So. Okay. Yeah, well. Sheesh. Well, you good. Spirit say, don't just trust the process. Well, how you, however it's going, it'll work yourself out. Maybe he'll float away. Maybe you'll float away. But just know when you're ready to make it right or when you're ready to move on, Spirit say, you got all the tools to make it happen. There is no lackluster when it comes to you, darling. Oh, they go to boat. They go to boat. Maybe, maybe the new therapist that I picked is going to be his parent. Ah. So you, you, so you're talking to a, a therapist now. No, I'm, I'm gonna find one. But like when you look to see which one you want, it tells you like everything about this person. So oh maybe yeah. I'll find a Hispanic one without even realizing that's what I needed. Okay, but then that remember now that's supposed to be the story a Hispanic female. So are you gonna model your character after the Hispanic female in the therapist boat energy? She's a therapist. Yeah. Okay. Maybe right. They just said she said maybe he'll float away. I'll float away. They're gonna boat. Ah, yes, that's true. That's true. Maybe. Oh, the remember the character, the main character of your story. Y'all can see where you say need to be a Hispanic female talking about a boat and if she's going to give you solid structure and understanding for you to float away or to make you stronger okay uh -huh. got it you are very intelligent that's awesome thank you all right now we're going to go up here to your fifth car your fifth car is in your ninth house your ninth house is ruled by sagittarius and is governed by jupiter your ninth house represent your future, your reality, what will be, what's coming to you. In this house right here, you have the undines and the mermaid in the upright position. Now, spirit is saying that you're going to have to do everything you can to hold on to an emotion. Now, this emotional attachment that you're going to be holding on to, I don't know what it is. And I'm trying to pierce and I'm trying to see. They're showing me something like uh, dehydrated bone, like uh, sun-dried bones. Give me something else like rocks, shells, beach, and it's an emotion that's tied to this beach or to this to this uh, washed down rock that look like bone. It's like coral, but they saying that you're going to your emotions is going to be tied to these specific stones that's washed up on the shores of a beach. Now, I know the boat thing is important, but this is water this is beach so what's going on did you get married on a beach uh what's going on why why are you going to be so emo this is your future too so that means like you're going to want to hold on to this like this is going to be a situation you get put in or opportunity you get put in but what's up with the water the beach and you having an affinity for it so I consider with the water my safe space. So like if I'm going through something and I just need to be alone, I'll go to the waterfront. Oh, which water. has like sand and whatnot. Uh-huh. And it's like by the time I leave, I feel refreshed. I feel like whatever I was feeling, the water understood it and I'm okay. So, okay. So in the future, you're going to be visiting that waterfront because I see you like holding stones and anchoring yourself underwater i see you anchoring yourself at this water in this water holding on and it's like so emotional for you and that's your emotional anchor so in the future well i don't know what's going to get you to this point where you're going to have to go and be at this waterfront for a long time and every time you visit that's going to be the only thing you're talking about but you will have an emotional 
situation to deal with at your safe place, which is this water. Would you like to ask this Carter question? Does it, like, will I experience death? Spirit, is death oh, going to... lose someone? Okay, Spirit, is death going to take her here? What's going to take her here? Spirit said, family, shit. Follow your heart. Health and healing. Ooh. Family, follow your heart. Health and healing. So it is a health issue dealing with the family. But why is she following her heart? Letting go? Yes. They say you're gonna you're gonna have to let this go. Uh, family issue. It's a health issue. So somebody with a serious health issue is going to put you there at that waterfront, and you're gonna have to really focus. Who who? Which one of your family members you take to this waterfront with you? Um. I don't take anyone to the waterfront with me because it's sacred. But I take all my problems to the waterfront. So maybe somebody is going to have health issues that they don't have a cure for, and I'm really close to this person, and it's going to break me. And it's so gonna, like if it's my mother or my grandmother, then it's... Then you're going to be at... The, keep in mind, this per, every time you go to the waterfront, this is the only problem you're going to be talking about with this health issue. Oh, so that means it's gonna consume me, whatever it is. Correct. Oh my God. It's a family health issue. Now I'm they. I didn't ask. Is it the mother, grandfather, father? I haven't asked any of those questions. I can only ask one question, right? No, nah, you can ask multiple. I just don't want you to get too upset with what they say because I'm gonna tell you what they say. But whatever you wanna ask, ask. Who is it? That's your God I did. Spirit, who who is this? Can do when you reveal who is this? What what is this? Not who. Let's not call okay. let's not what? What is this? Flow of prosperity, financial. Listen. They saying financial. Listen. Look in the mirror and choose peace. Uh, oh my god uh, I'll say it like this Who stands to leave you An inheritance My mother they, um, they, they told me the word Inheritance Listen and choose peace So you're going to get an inheritance From who And I'm, I'm not going to say who You're going to get an inheritance My mother and my grandmother So you're going to get an inheritance But you're not going to be happy with the inheritance Like you think because it's going to come bittersweet. They're saying look in the mirror and choose peace. So how about you do yourself a favor and start getting their last affairs in order. If you're in their 40s, they got to be in their 60s and 70s. So, so how about you do the right thing and start getting your affairs in order. Wills, uh, last will and testament, uh, spring into action, uh, life thing in case they go catatonic, uh, unconscious. That type of stuff. Let's let's as parents we have to think ahead so we don't suffer. It's a hard choice, but we have to do that. Life make sure the life insurance is okay. Make sure the burial plots. We have to do that type of stuff. So That is so crazy. That is so crazy because you said <laughs> you said in case they go unconscious, right? Mm hmm My grandmother is undergoing surgery in March and she's so afraid. She's never afraid, but she's so afraid. Yeah, Mama, get do, do remember this if you can. Spring, spring into action. Power of attorney, power of okay. attorney, and spring into action. Power of attorney. That's what it's called here. Maybe somewhere else. Where you from? This gives you 100% rights over everybody. Have her sign that. Nobody can run off with the money. Nobody can do this. You got all rights and reserve. Even if she can't talk, she's come by. Your mama won't even have the information if she signed your name on it. Spring into action and power of attorney. It, it, it is. But well, I believe in the spirit. Yes. And they're prepping you for this type of stuff. I guess because it knows that it has to. Because I don't accept things like this. Yeah, Very well. and if she's going under the knife, you want to make sure it's as easy on the family as possible. Because let me tell you, when death comes out of the matriarch, it tears everything up. 
Everybody goes to fighting, scrambling, trying to, oh, she loved me more. I want what she left. The money is mine. And families get torn apart out of greed. So you do what you got to do. I had to have that talk with my dad because he just had a baby. My little sister, three years old. And, you know, he, he was battling prostate cancer third state. And, uh, wow. Uh, so yeah, I had to get him right. I uh, got his life insurance policy from the military and everything going to my little baby sister. Uh, got it in a trust fund. I made him purchase a house and it's in it's in her name. It's in the baby's name uh, at a trust fund agency. I have nothing over it. Her mother can't get it. This is the trust fund. People going to take care of this. I told him that this is what you got to do. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about Brian. Don't worry about Nikki. This is for her, the little baby. We grown ups and we old heads. We don't need your money. Right. And so he feels good. We finalized everything uh, about six months ago. So my little baby sister taken care of. If my daddy go, if this prostate cancer take him down. Wow, I'm so sorry, but you got this. Yeah, I had to. It was tough, so I had to. I, t I shared that with you because I want you to know it's tough, but make the arrangements, mama, and, and put some ease on your mind. But Spirit is saying there is a possibility she ain't coming back from this surgery. They not saying they gonna take her. It's a possibility. They just want you to prepare. All right. I can't. I'll say what? Uh, I can't. You can't, you can. You can and you will. Are you gonna need some? Are you gonna need? Are you gonna need some counseling for this? Yes, absolutely. I would be completely broken. All right. And just the, the see. This is what I'm saying. This this is the rough parts of these reading. So you're gonna be okay. Uh, got people in your corner. Don't let the relationship stress you out. None of that stuff. And uh, just know you got people that's going to be there for you. Okay. Well, oh, my God. Thank you so, so, so much. All right. Don't forget, I'm a tooth chipper now. I done kicked asses. I'm a savage. I'm a thug. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I done whoop ass. I, could, I don't take no shit. I'm the toughest cat on the planet. Ah. Yes, you are. Straight to the point. Damn right. Yeah. Wow. So. Don't tell nobody I'm good. I'm cutting all this part out of this damn video. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Well, I am here if you need to reach. All right, thank you so, so much. All right, now, yeah, you go. Okay, you too. Uh -huh. All right, everybody. This got a little emotional for me because I just went through something similar, and I, and I hope I held it together. I left a couple details out of the video just... Uh, for our sister privacy here but all in all spirit prepped her she has a very good life it's just this one thing is going to cause her a setback and I think she need to make the book about uh, her Hispanic uh, grandmother energy but Hispanic and let her tell the stories and shares that uh, the love and life of they live but uh, y'all let's pray for her. positive comments below all right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.